Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool automatic electric three-slot payphone and this is Ken's equipment from Alabama and he's got a note with this telephone and this is a working telephone it has been converted in the past this is the initial checkout and so he's got some issues with it number one we want to get a new end on his line cord that someone has uh, installed on this telephone when they did the conversion the little clip is uh, about to break off so we want to repair that we also want to stabilize his line cord in the back it's been pulled out of the back. It needs to be secured so it doesn't get pulled and ripped from the phone at some point. So we're going to take care of that. We also, in the note, he mentions that the bell does not ring. And this is the bell that's installed in this telephone. It's kind of flopping around in here. We do not use this type of bell in our conversions. Uh, this was uh, one of the Western Electric bells, about the only thing that Western Electric ever made that wasn't very uh, a good design. And so it's a poor design type bell. They don't ring very well just due to the way that they were designed. And so we want to get rid of this bell. He's talking about how it doesn't ring. It's getting voltage. Uh, we checked it a little bit earlier, and it does get voltage, and it does try to ring, but it's just the bell is a, a poor design, and we don't use them in our conversion. So we'll be installing a different style bell. We also want to go through everything. Even though this is a working telephone, we want to make sure that everything is proper. So we want to go through that. We also want to go through the rotary. We want to check this rotary. And if there's any issues with the rotary, we'll go ahead and take care of that while it's in the shop. The lock on the body is been broken. And so that just opens with any kind of a little tool. Now, he mentions that he doesn't have a vault lock. So what we want to do is we want to gain access into this telephone, into the vault area, and we want to rekey a key to the vault lock. And that way he can lock the vault up at least. And, you know, I've had customers through the years tell me that basically if these telephones are mounted on the wall, uh, you're not going to be getting into them very easily. And they put... Uh, you know, some of their um, stuff that they might have, like watches and rings and things in these vault areas. So we're going to get a, a key for that lock. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to get into the telephone. It does not look like it's ever been taken apart down on the vault area. So it's going to be a little bit of work getting into that and getting the lock out and uh, so we're going to be working on that. What we're going to do now is we want to get a start on this telephone. And we want to come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion and our final checkout. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we're going to show a little bit about what's going on. We've went ahead and removed the bell. That's of no use to us. And I want to show that to you. And we'll go ahead and set that to the side. We've removed our lock. We've gained access, removed our lock, and this is the 10L lock that's in these A and E telephones, three slots. So we want to set that to the side. We can set the door to the side. What we found on the inside of the vault area is a receiver capsule and a transmitter that was just uh, flopping around inside the vault area. Now they're no good. Uh, they're both bad 
and so we won't be using them. We'll set them to the side. They're of no use to us. So now what we want to do is we want to start on our lock. We're going to go ahead and rekey a key to this lock and that way Ken will be able to lock the vault area. So we're going to go ahead and take a short break from the video. We'll get the lock taken care of and then we'll move on to our rotary. We also want to make sure that the change is falling through the coin validator because we can get into the vault now. So he could put change in the unit if he wanted to and use it as a bank. So we're going to go ahead and take a short break. We'll come right back and we'll get some more video. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this telephone. All the issues have been resolved. And so now what we want to do is start our final checks. Now I do want to mention that we have a pickup that I show in our videos and the pickup is taped to the back of the telephone. That's so that we can pick up the audio of this telephone so you can hear the receive audio. And so that is amplified. We want to go ahead and start our final checks. Now, one of the issues was the bell. And the bell that this telephone came in with was bad and we have replaced that bell. So now what we can do is go ahead and ring the unit and we'll use the analyzer to do that. We'll let that go a few times since that was one of the issues. I'll let it ring one more time. We'll turn our amplifier on and we'll give you some dial tone. You can watch the numbers roll by if you watch the analyzer there. We'll dial our numbers out. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So now what we can do is we can uh, install some money into this payphone. We'll go ahead and use a quarter and we'll let that gong. It will gong one time. We'll use a dime. That'll go ring the bell twice. A nickel will ring the bell once. We'll use another quarter. A dime. And one last nickel. Now what we can do is show you the key. We have a key here. We've rekeyed the original lock that was in this telephone. And we'll go ahead and open the unit. And that's your key working. We'll go ahead and lock up the unit. We have a button on the switch box. We can press that in because we know that this telephone rings in on a ring cycle. It's dialing out. It has transmit and receive. We can go ahead and call a time and temp number. Now when I push that button on my switch box, that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation. And we'll go ahead and call that time and temp number. We'll give you some dial tone. And we'll call that number. We can hang up. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. 
give you some dial tone. Turn our amplifier off, hang the unit up. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Ken and he can enjoy it once again. It's a very cool A&E three slot chrome payphone. I'm sure it's gonna look great no matter where he installs it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.